Hello and welcome to Lot 49. Today I will be talking about the connection between Paul Pelosi's recent investments and legislation his wife has been pushing through the House as its Speaker. Legislation is always going to have an effect on the stock price of companies affected by it. Companies that will gain see their stock prices increase, while those that may be hurt by the legislation see their stock prices fall in value. As members of Congress, the ones that write legislation, they have a lot of power to make stock prices soar, and they are in a perfect position to buy into a company before the legislation is revealed. So in 2012, the Stock Act was signed into law. This act prohibits the use of non-public information, such as bills that are being negotiated behind closed doors, from being used to make a profit, even by members of government. Nancy Pelosi comes from a political family, as her father, Thomas D'Alessandro, served as a representative of Maryland and later as mayor of Baltimore. So while her background is well off, it is not rich. However, in a recent financial disclosure, she declared that she and her husband were collectively worth between $43 and $202 million, depending on the valuation of their real estate and stock. A period transaction report shows that on June the 17th, Paul Pelosi bought 20,000 shares in computer technology manufacturer NVIDIA. The shares were worth somewhere between $1 and $5 million. Another periodic transaction report reveals that a month later, on the 26th of July, Paul Pelosi sold all of his stock in NVIDIA at a reported loss of just over $340,000. Members of the House do not have to report the value of their trades in exact figures, only in vague ranges. What makes this disclosure notable is that Nancy Pelosi rarely makes actual details of her husband's stock and trades public. These trades were taking place while Congress was debating the Chips and Science Bill, a bill that had been brought before the House by his wife Nancy Pelosi. The bill was signed into law by President Biden after passing in both the House and the Senate. Now an act, it will inject upwards of $280 billion into the technical and scientific sectors of the US economy. And as an American company, NVIDIA stands to be a beneficiary of this act. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have found it informative. As always, links and citations have been left down in the description. Like all YouTube channels, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a good evening.